In 2013, I got sick and I had a lot of pain. We struggled with going from doctor to doctor um, with my wife because her energy level was low or she was uh, uh, you know, in pain. There were times when I could barely walk, it hurt to breathe, and after months of going in and out of doctor's offices and lab work and tests, I actually had 32 tubes of blood drawn one that summer. I was diagnosed with ankylosing spondylitis. I spend a lot of time um, angry, questioning why. I was angry at God. I was angry because my family, I'm getting upset. <laughs> uh, oh, it's very overwhelming. Yeah. I didn't want to live like that. Even after all these years, the story is still... But I didn't want to live like that. I have my kids, and I wanted to set a good example for them. And I was in a lot of support groups online, and I saw so many people that were going through divorces and just wanted... They literally just wanted to stop living. They did not want to live anymore. And I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. She doesn't get the treatment, or if her body doesn't respond to the treatment, that, that uh, life would be altered, uh, meaning whether it be crutches, canes, wheelchairs, bed rest, whatever it might be, that was probably the more shocking thing than the actual diagnosis itself. It's very easy to, when you're in a situation, you're experiencing pain all the time to essentially stop living and you know, give in to the pain and let it take over your life. And I made a pact when I started feeling like, okay, I have to change. I literally just decided, like, I'm not going to do this and I'm gonna start living and not have any regrets because I don't want to have regrets. Of course took it to this different degree and I lost weight and I fell in love with weightlifting and I decided I wanted to start doing bodybuilding competitions. Sometimes I feel sad when she's hurting and but when she does her competition I, I'm just cheering her on all the time and screaming. I think she's special because she does stuff that many people don't do because she, she has a back disease and most people who have that back disease can't do the stuff that she can do. Uh, she does training most of the time every single day sometimes and she has a very pretty strict diet. Life is full of ups and downs and sometimes when you look at those down moments I realized a few years ago that that's when you can either stop living or start living.